Welcome to another video where I demonstrate some advancements on my strange card project for the DI-99. So the cartridge has now been installed into the computer and it's time to show how the basic is actually now running at 100 times faster when running on the strange cards as opposed to the console. Okay, so the first test that we can do is to actually run a test program that Noel created for his channel Noel's Retro Channel. And uh, the uh, TI-99 actually did not do well in that test. It was probably the slowest computer of the whole bunch, at least at the time that I was checking that. And uh, so here we are running the program now on the uh, TI-99's internal basic interpreter. And uh, uh, it prints uh, dots as it goes, so you get one period uh, every time the inner loop has executed, and it takes such a long time that we won't run it fully here, but you saw that it takes a long time to even get one of those. So what we can do when the strange card is plugged in is that we can actually save this basic program into the memory of the strange card. Uh, and uh, the device name is strange, and the actual program name doesn't matter, it's just used the name null. Then we can execute this with call run. So call run is actually a basic extension, and what it tells the strange card to do is that, uh, uh, or TI basic rather, is that you should use this extension, which is actually in practice running on the TI uh, on the <laughs> cartridge. And there we have it. So this uh, run uh, took point. 21 or 0.22 seconds, so less than a quarter of a second. Uh, and this is really a lot faster. So uh, I forget what the exact time for the original version was, but uh, that was very, very slow. So we are talking about probably 200, 300 times faster here. So then another example is a game called Lasergate. And uh, again, we are loading it from disk, so now it's in the console's memory as usual, and uh, it's now possible to make a listing, as you would expect uh, from any basic program after loading. And uh, well, you get the listing, you know, scrolling at the fabulous speed of the TI, uh, and uh, we can then quickly take a run first using the built-in basic interpreter of the TI. And uh, whenever you start a game, or any program for that matter, in TI Basic, it will run some sort of a syntax check or something, and I do apologize for the bad quality of the camera footage here, so the screen is hopefully dusty. Uh, but uh, anyway, you see that the game is running uh, at this sort of speed, and uh, uh, yeah, it's not exactly stellar performance that we are getting. So uh, now, what we can do is that we can again save this program to the RAM memory of the strange card, so the plugin board. Again, the name doesn't really matter, and uh, then we can use the basic extension as previously to launch this title. And there we have it, so it sort of fires up immediately, and uh, then when we start to run the game, it really runs fast, so way too fast to play. Okay, let's then try another game. Uh, so this time this game is called Skier99, and uh, it's another TI basic program, uh, as you might expect <laughs> for, for this video. So again, we load it from the disk. Uh, yeah, and actually it's on the second drive. And uh, uh, it takes a while to load, and uh, once we have loaded, we will pretty much repeat what we did in the past, so uh, comparing the performance running it uh, on the TI-99 using its built-in basic interpreter, and then comparing that uh, to what the performance looks like when you save it to the memory of the strange card, and use the basic interpreter on the strange card. Um, and as a matter of fact, one word to say there is that uh, uh, the, what I have been doing for the basic interpreter is basically a uh, new implementation of basic, so I've been using the TI basic manual as a reference, but the code is not using any code, so uh, this version of basic I have been writing in C++, as opposed to the GPL and assembly code used in the console itself. And uh, that's a possible uh, and easy to do, of course, these days, when you have great C compilers uh, for the advanced ARM processors like the one used in the strange card. Alright, so here we can enjoy the blistering speed of the original 
uh, game so we have a nice uh, graphics here in the beginning of course nice for the time and uh, great actually on TI basic given its limitations so there's um, some manuals but um, uh, of course uh, we'll just go we get actually uh, before we can go we get a listing high score listing and, and then let's try out what happens with the easy level so uh, this game actually uh, as pretty much all games that show uh, any sort of action using TI basic uh, are pretty amazing achievements since TI basic really doesn't give you uh, much to work with in terms of language features and especially the performance is what really kills it and makes it difficult okay enough of this let's see how it runs on the strange card and we again launch the game using the basic extension so the basic system call run command and uh, looks for an extension which is provided by the strange card from uh, we actually have here on the top line still a, a problem so the yeah, basic is not really perfectly implemented yet I still have some work to do we go from instructions to the high score list and then uh, to the actual game and as you can see it's really running a lot faster than the original there are still limits on how fast it can run because uh, the IO cannot be handled by the cartridge but rather the cartridge needs to communicate with the CPO within the computer and the CPUs running the I.O. so that means that there's a speed limit okay let's do one uh, final benchmark test so but just doing a an empty loop and this sort of empty loop really allows us to see what is the sort of a, the maximum speed that the basic can run uh, on the strange card and what sort of increase we can get so uh, here's a loop uh, from 0 to 300,000 and uh, running this on the TI basic uh, within the console takes a very long time so let's just run it for a couple of seconds and uh, let's see uh, where we get just to give you an idea so uh, you know maybe after two seconds we have uh, just over 1300 iterations so then uh, saving this to the strange card memory again enables the strange card to run it for us and uh, then we will get a bit higher performance so uh, let's just run it and there we have it and it basically run the the 300,000 iterations in 0.8 seconds which means that uh, uh, we actually did run in less than one second around 300,000 lines of code basically the next lines and that means that the basic speed when you run it on the strange card actually surpasses what the TMS 9900 CPU can do even in machine code so that's the status update. Thank you for watching.